Hi, welcome to my donation lesson. Grab your makeup pen and let's do this. First, let's create some consumables for the room. Please note you need to be the corner of the room and have a rec room membership. As you can see, I already created some consumables, but you can create a new one by clicking on Add Consumable and fill the fields out. Room consumables gives creators the ability to sell things that can be purchased multiple times. You can add a picture, put the name in like small donation, give it a description such as thank you, and enter the amount to sell it for, then press save. The first thing we will need is four consumable constants. Let's configure them and assign the already made consumables to them. Now we shall create the objects, which will bring the consumable out when the player touches it. Let's also give it a color and a material. We need four of these two. By pressing edit, then select, then click on the object, you can split them apart as they need to be separate objects. Don't forget to press down when you finish with them all. We can also center the pivot point for all of them. Scale them up to see the difference between donation amounts. And now we need the interaction volumes. Place them onto the objects so players can interact with the objects. We shall not forget the show purchase from chips that will show the amount to the player. We also need four of these. Let's connect everything. Now I bring all the interaction volume board down so you can see how I connect them all. So see, this is what we created. Touch the object and it gives you the amount and prompts you to buy it. If you also want to put it on the leaderboard, see who donated and how much, get an event receiver. Please note I kept all the other connected system in place, I just moved the objects and the consumables. Set the event to consumable purchased by clicking configure on the event receiver. I'm also getting 4 equals chip to create the condition for the system. This is how you connect them all. Our next chip is if, we also need four of these. Let's connect them all. Get a leaderboard set chip too, of course we need four of them. Connect the if chips to them. Configure the chips like this so it will show the updated donations amount all the time. Our next chip is Multiply. Create four of them. And this is how we connect them all. Configure the value of the Multiply chip to match the amount of your consumables.
Oops, I forgot to link the equal shift to the conditions. Now grab the leaderboard projector and we set it together. Press configure and click on the leaderboard. Change the full and the short name and toggle on sort ascending. We will not need the remaining stats, so I will switch them off. However, you can use them, but you need to add more chips to make it work. There you have it! Another lesson is done, what hopefully helps you. See you in the next video!